Hello friends my name is Rahul and this is video tutorial series on how to install access manager along with 3radius and mysql in our previous video we have already installed access manager GUI on our web server and now in this video we will install and configure free radius with the mysql database that we have already created in our previous video so let's just log into the server So guys, actually installing FreeRadius on an Ubuntu server is quite easy. It's already available on the repository itself. And there is no minimum version requirement for this. So we can simply issue sudo apt-get install Wait a sec. FreeRadius these are the packages we require free radius common free radius mysql free radius utils no password here oh. radius mysql okay here it is need to get 1054 cube you can see free radius is so small in size As you see, there is nothing special in installing free radius. Issuing the one single line command can install free radius along with all other packages that it requires. Now, what we need to do is to configure it to as per our requirements. So, first of all, as you may know, Access Manager works with MicroTik routers only, and MicroTik supplies its own custom vendor specific attributes so access manager utilizes vendor specific attributes of microtech so we need to enable support for microtech attributes in free radius to do that actually uh, i'd like to mention that my free radius already includes all the attributes from different vendors as you can see that when we move into our this directory user share free radius now when you see here there is a there are a lot of files with from different different vendors as you can see their respective names dictionary.motorola contains attributes for motorola equipments 3com for 3com and so on you will also find here a file named dictionary.microtech here it is so what we need to do is simply include this file with the paste dictionary in the free radius configuration to do that edit the dictionary file etc free radius add sudo dictionary Yes. Here you see after the a few comments, the very first line is include user share free radius dictionary. We'll just append to it. We'll actually add a new line under this include user share free radius dictionary dot microtech and that's it save and exit now whenever we start free radius it will include these files one another thing that we need to check and this uh, microtech dictionary file I'll just show you 
access manager uses two attributes that might be that might be missing from this file so you need to just cross check if if these are available that's okay micro tick total limit and micro tick total limit gigawatts so if these are available then that's fine if those are not you need to add them so as you can see in this file micro tick total limit and micro tick total limit gigawatts are not there so we'll add two new or lines in this file attribute micro tick total limit 17 integer attribute micro tick total limit gigawatts 18 integer we don't need to worry about these these are vendor specific attributes of micro tick just save and exit now we have enabled support for micro tick in this 3 radius installation next we, next thing we need to do is enable mysql support in uh, free radius installation and make it use the same database that we created in our last video so let's enable mysql support first we'll go to etc free radius and here sudo vim radius t dot conf in this file we need to look for a line saying dollar include sql dot conf that should be commented by default and we'll just simply uncomment it you can use search right here it is we just simply need to omit the hash that will to uncomment this save and exit and the next thing we need to do is enable SQL module in authorization accounting and session modules session sections of our this virtual server so as we did with the our Apache installation we use the default virtual server that were created during installation we'll do we'll apply the same practice on this free radius installation free radius also creates a virtual server for us during the installation we will edit that file only if you want you can if you want some advanced features you can create a new virtual server if you want multiple virtual servers to be running at the same time but in this tutorial we'll stick to the default one for that we'll go to sites enabled default now in this file actually it's a huge file it contains see 628 rows so mm -hmm. so we need to look for authorize accounting and session blocks here it is in this is the authorized section within this section we need to find SQL module these all are modules chap MSF digest etc we need to look for SQL and uncomment it simply to enable this module by omitting the hash we need to do the same in all three sections we have we have just did it in authorized section will repeat the same in accounting and session blocks pre-accounting here is the accounting block look for the SQL module here it is just uncomment it and we'll do and we'll do same with the sessions block
and that's it save and exit now one last thing we need to do is update our update free radius SQL config file with correct credentials of our MySQL server so that file is located here in free radius only which is sudo vim sql dot conf this file in this block server which is localhost port which is not mandatory login as a username which and which in our case is root and password is one two three four five six you need to remember that this is not a password of your Linux machine user this is the password of MySQL root user that we chose during the installation in our last video DDSDB is the name of the database that we set to access manager AC manager I'm sorry one line we need to uncomment is this the read clients actually we'll be saving our routers say IP address and secrets in that in the database only so this line needs to be uncommented for that to enable that otherwise MySQL free radius will look for routers added in text files only save and exit and that's it I'll just will just restart the server for changes to take effect actually we should stop it stop and run it and run it in start in debug mode to check if everything is ok ah, fail to load module why? What is missing? Couldn't connect socket to MySQL server. EC manager. Oh shit. I don't know how to overcome these spelling mistakes I make. I named the database I spelled the database incorrect name incorrectly this is AC manager now it should work oh, yes Every, everything is working fine so we have configured it correctly so fine guys we'll keep it here only in our next video we'll see how to integrate both of these say access manager that we installed in our last video and free radius that we have just finished installing in our next video we'll see how to integrate both of them to work together till then bye bye